I just got out of the river because I was in the river looking for gold and we had good successes. If you like gold nuggets, you'll like this video. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first video of 2024 and we're going sniping. I got a sponsorship from Wilson's Diving, meaning I get a lot more equipment sniping equipment so I'm able to get out a lot more so thank you Wilson's Diving. The weather is looking good today but it's gonna start snowing really really soon. So today I'm out here with Bailey hey. and we're just gonna have some fun see what we find and no expectations. Did you eat your gold flakes this morning? Yeah. <laughs> so over the past I don't know three months I've been putting on a lot of weight doing a lot of weight lifting eating a lot of fat so I'm really feeling it in this wetsuit everything's really really tight and I feel like the Michelin man. So Bailey and I made it down to the river. The water level is really high right now, but it's still doable. I've had the high water work in my favor before, so I'm not too worried. Before we do any sniping, we've got to acclimatize to the temperature of the water, which can take some time. I sort of just laid there and waited for my face to numb up before I started working. I like the look of this first spot because there was exposed bedrock in this low pressure zone behind some boulders. Heavy objects like gold tend to hide around these zones, so it's worth looking. I just found our first piece of gold. Let me show you. It's there. It's not We got our second piece of gold. I like these pieces because they are laying on their side and when you pull them out, they look a lot bigger. Oh! <laughs> Good. We got a nice little flake. It won't go up the stuffer bottle, so I gotta put it into the lid. I kept playing in the spot for a while, but soon decided to make my way upstream because I'm impatient and if I stay still for too long, I'll get too cold. This stretch of river is sort of out of the sun, so it's really hard to see in there. And all the bedrock doesn't seem very good. What I do know across the river right there, I've had really good luck, but I am not crossing that river right now. While I slowly made my way upstream, Bailey already abandoned his wetsuit and started digging holes. Holy dude! Just found a picker. Look at that. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Do the gold dance. Do the gold dance. Okay. I've extended the hole a little bit further, almost up to my knee. Not too, too terrible, but they're small, but I love it. What I gotta remember to do is bring food and water anytime I hike upstream. I just found, I think, our biggest nugget of the day. So I don't want to leave the spot, but I'm really hungry. I'll stay as long as I can. The gold nugget is somewhere in here. I saw a nice flash. Right there. <laughs> okay, definitely not our biggest piece, but it looked bigger down there. I just found a decent piece of gold right here. Look how shallow that is. It's a little nugget. <laughs> I can barely get my mask in there. And there we have it. A nice little piece. How you doing? Good. Found some gold. <laughs> You got out of your wetsuit. Yeah, it was getting cold. Yeah, it's getting pretty cold. I've been working really hard and I'm fat, so I'm a little warmer than usual. Well, I came downstream now. There's a big open pool here. There's a lot of bedrock on the side, so I'm gonna give that a go. So after locating where I wanted to work, with perfect technique, I dove right in.
right now and I do get emails recommending what to do and you know put glue on it get other gloves put other gloves over top but out of all the advice I've ever gotten I have never done any of them so it's my fault so don't feel bad if I'm complaining curse you me I think on the next prospecting video I want to do an extended version like from start to finish like I wake up in the morning <laughs> what I eat for breakfast what my ritual looks like, everything in one day. It'd be like an hour long video, but let me know if you wanna see a full video like that. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, I swam on for another 30 minutes trying to spot some more candy to show you, then just decided to head to another spot downstream right after I had a break first. So I'm just having a quick break at the car right now. What Bailey and I are gonna do is go way downstream to a spot where the high water isn't going to affect us as much. Our goal here is to find as much gold as possible and up here, we're finding a little bit, but not nearly as much as I want. Now I'm always okay finding a little bit of gold, but today we have a lot of daylight left, so why not make our chances better best? So I lost one of my reflective vests like a few weeks ago, way, way upstream there. Look at this. <laughs> there it is! I'll recover it on another day. After getting distracted and clearing a log out of my way, I was right back in the water and on the yellow stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Where's gold? Looking for gold underwater takes a lot of time. <laughs> Most of the best gold snipers spend days looking for areas to go, and we're not always successful. A lot of the time, we don't find enough gold to justify a video. We just lay here and talk to the dirt. I did just find some heavy iron stone, so we are in the right area. Yeah. An even better indication of gold is when you find gold, because when you find gold, that's a sign that there could be gold around. I followed this crack along, not really expecting anything, but consistency pays off because we found our biggest nugget of the day, and technically the year. I just found an awesome piece of lead. <laughs> we found the biggest nugget of the day so far. There's another little picker down there too. Yeah, lead baby! Often when you find lead with gold, there's usually more than one piece of gold in there. Exactly like what just happened. After finding that bigger piece of candy, I'll do the obvious thing and look around the area for more because I clearly haven't found this spot before. Those are the only nuggets I see in here, but in this area, there's gotta be more gold. I continued to find little pieces of gold everywhere, but I was starting to get pretty not warm. I'm gonna get out pretty quick here. I'm getting really cold. It's important that you get out of the river before you start to shiver, because once you shiver, it's gonna be a long time before you can unshiver, and that just leads to hypothermia. I did just find another little piece of gold here. So to suck it up, set a couple more minutes in the area, 
and then probably hike out. So I continued to find maybe one or two micro fly pieces of candy, but ultimately I just spent the rest of my temperature digging out crevices that didn't have any gold in it. So I decided to call it. Okay, I am done. I am way too cold to continue, but I'm happy we found gold today, so. There's Bailey. Hey, any luck? A little bit of luck. Got a couple little pieces of lead. I see you're digging to China. Oh. I don't know how I continue to do this. <laughs> oh, I just pulled a muscle in my neck. This is so tiring. It's sure easy to be like, yeah, we're gonna go sniping. We're gonna find lots of gold. And then you wake up at like 5.30 or six in the morning and it's freezing out and then it snows on the way here. And you're like, what am I doing? Is it worth it? But yes, it is because it's awesome when you do find gold. Okay, I'm all dressed. I'm a little warmer than I was before. Bailey's getting dressed. He's a little warmer than he was before. And I have gold to show you. Look at the loot! We have a nice thick nugget in there. A couple other flakes slash nugget slash pickers. A roly poly piece, some pieces of lead, and all together, we're looking good! I'm thinking this is probably at least 10 ounces, if not maybe a gram or so. This is typical what you would find here sniping on the creek. I don't usually sit in one spot to find gold. I'm usually all over the place, but today I decided to sit, oh no I didn't. didn't. No, that's a lie. I, <laughs> I was everywhere today. So Bailey was screaming like a little schoolgirl because he <laughs> found the biggest pieces of his life. Those aren't bad either. Not too bad. You got chunky pieces. I did notice earlier he found a piece. It's right here. Where is that? Oh, you can't really see it right here, but I'll show you on the microscope. Yeah. It's weird. It's like a little piece of gold. Yeah. Super interesting. So Bailey was just doing a lot of testing today, looking for spots for, for us to high bank. And uh, yeah, high five. It was a success. Yes. So let's go back to the house, weigh all this gold, and see how much we did. Boy howdy, this is our take for the day. We do have some chunky pieces of gold in here, which means that we do have gold in here. Now those gray pieces that you see are pieces of gold with mercury on them. Back in the gold rush days, they used to put mercury in the rivers in order to locate the gold. Mercury and gold stick together really well. I don't ever recommend using mercury to get gold, but because I did that, that is why we are finding mercury today. All in all, I am very pleased with our chunky pieces we found, especially that bigger nugget. Let's put it on the scale and see if we get to eat tonight. For this flat nugget, it weighs 10 ounces, 0.26 grams. Our second nugget here, this is the most rough looking piece, 10 ounces, 0.27. And now our biggest nugget of the millennium, 10 ounces, 0.97. So just about a gram. Now all togethers, 10 ounces. 2.06 grams, so almost 10 ounces. So 1.03 goes in this bag and added at the very end of the year, and the other half goes to my mining partner. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing or checking out pioneerpoly.com if you really wanna support me and help me make more videos for you.